Hi, good day everyone. Uh, this is Jay from Pageant Trend and I'm here with one of the official candidates of Mr. International 2023. I'm here with uh, uh, representing Canada. Hi. Hi everyone. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm very well. Thank you. Well, it's been uh, two days that we had an uh, activities for this Mr. International. So how was it? How was it? so far it's amazing you know uh, my peers they're all lovely the place is lovely the nature is beautiful i'm having a fun time i feel like home and uh, we all know that uh, during your childhood times uh, you're mm -hmm. one of uh, the famous child actor in uh, india yeah and uh, got an information that you have the highest paid yes i was uh, so how does it feel it feels amazing, you know, but more than the money and more than the title, the experience I got uh, through that uh, and working hard on my skills that actually yeah. made me the highest paid child actor is much more important. And that's what actually drives me uh, today as well to come in this pageant and do my best. And tell me what's the reason why you decide to join Mr. International? Okay, so long story short, since I was a kid, I dreamed of coming to pageants such as this. Because I feel I'm made for a pageant and uh, in the media world. Because uh -huh. truly, truly, I just love pageantry and love modeling and love the media so much. Because I feel I can show my true colors to the world. All right. So how does it feel that um, you are also one of the youngest or the youngest uh, contestant or candidates here in Mr. International? It feels great because I think that I can inspire the youth. Uh, and age is just a number, as said uh, by many. Um, so I think it's great coming here on this platform and showing the world and um, inspiring millions of kids that you can do whatever you want. And I'm the youngest, but I'm loving it here. And so can you. All right. So if, if, if I may ask you for the last two days activities of Mr. Yes. International, so which one of those are your most memorable? Most memorable? I love them all, but most of all, I love the tree planting because mm -hmm. um, I just have an attachment towards Mother Nature. I feel it's beautiful and there's nothing more beautiful than helping Mother Nature. And the kids are so cute. I just like want to grab their cheeks and just pull them apart. They're so cute. Genuinely, I love kids and it's just fun to, you know, experience new culture. And the Philippines culture is beautiful. Trust me, you have to come here once in your life, at least. Yeah all right uh, thank you so much for that thank you maybe uh some of the pageant fans are confused about your nationality because uh you're representing canada and uh, based on uh, our research uh, you're an indian yeah you have so an indian root um i have indian roots mm -hmm. but i'm born in the canada um toronto mississauga that's where i was born mm -hmm. but my roots come from india that's where i built myself up so I'm kind of like a multicultural person mm -hmm. and I love to experience new places. So there's no confusion to clear it all. I'm Canadian by nationality, mm -hmm. but I'm half Indian too. So I'm Indo-Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, so that's and, me. All right. And what are the characteristics or traits you had as an Indian and a Canadian? As wow. an Indian, uh, the characteristics I have, I gel with people very, very quickly. And... Um, I learned very quickly because in India, you know, people force you to uh, get ahead in life and move ahead in life and to have that momentum going. And um, in Canada, I learned how to, you know, meditate, be a little calm and understand and, you know, uh, just feel the nature of beauty because Canada is a beautiful place. If you go to the Niagara Falls, it's just amazing. If you just sit silently, sometimes mm -hmm. you can talk deep within yourself. You're being one of the youngest candidates and the... Uh do you feel pressure of co competing to the other, you know, that has an experience and uh, a veteran when it comes to pageantry? No, to be honest, I don't feel pressured because it's um, a thing that I've done since I was a kid. So I've always faced pressure and yeah, everyone's a little nervous over here, me including the rest. But at the end of the day, it's all about experience. Winning and loses, losing is secondary for me. Uh, my priority is to learn things. Even when I was a high paid child actor, the most important thing for me was the experience because that drives me in life. And my advocacy is my main goal. I want to raise the people of voices. 
Yeah, I want to raise uh, people's voices. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's most important to me. And uh, you have joined uh, many pageants in uh, since you were younger. Mm -hmm. And uh, my question for you is, what do you think is the hardest part of joining the pageant? Um, the hardest part of joining a pageant is actually just getting into it. Because most people are told and let down by many. But trust me, if you are devoted enough, and you're consistent enough, you can do wonders and achieve ultimate goals that no one has ever imagined. The people who dream of goals, they should work. Because if you work, trust me, you'll reach unimaginable le uh, levels of heights. So you should just work, go ahead in life. And that's my number one advice to anyone watching. Age is just a number, just remember that. Or are you still in acting? Yes, I do act. Uh, I'm still. I still do TVCs in India, mm -hmm. um, and right now I'm even educating myself in a drama school in Canada. So, yeah, my life is all about drama, media, mm -hmm. pageantry, modeling. Yeah, it's just fun for me. All right. So, despite of having a hectic schedule, how do you spend your time with your free time? I spend my free time working out over here. It's uh, enjoyable with the rest of the candidates. Okay. They uh, are like my big brothers, to be honest. So yeah, it's fun. It's fun to be here and um, just enjoy. So spending my free time is just working out and eating whatever I want. All right, uh, let's Drew, have... There's a phone-in question here for you. Can you please answer? Yes, sure. Okay. Yeah, the hashtag of Mr. International is distinctively yeah. handsome. What does being distinctively handsome mean to you? I believe that being distinctively handsome means to not only be beautiful on the outside, but more importantly on the inside. Beauty is on the inside because if you're beautiful on the outside, it won't matter unless you have a good personality to inspire and motivate others. The main goal is to motivate others and help others reach their goals. So a distinctively handsome person has confidence, has charisma mm -hmm. and has humor. So I think these are the most three important things that a distinctively person has. And there is a second polling question. Uh -huh. The mission statement of Mr. International is to empower young men to inspire the next generation. Uh -huh. How will an 18-year-old guy like you inspire the younger ones? Is there any special approach that you will do in inspiring them? I believe a lot of kids can relate to me. And a lot of teenagers who, who can relate to me because I'm just 18. I'm the youngest candidate. I'm here. So to motivate them, I will tell them that you can achieve your dreams if you just work hard, stay consistent. I'm repeating this again and again because if you have a dream, no one, whoever, just avoid the naysayers. Don't listen to them. Listen to yourself, to your heart because in the end of the day, that's what matters the most. So that's how I'll inspire them. Tell them to become the best versions of themselves by working out, taking care of yourself, and striving towards your goals fast. Thank you, Drew. Thank you. All right. Drew, uh, you're one of the f most famous, and uh, I guess you have, uh, you've been known uh, to the social media world and as well as to the outside world. Do you think this is your advantage of uh, getting the title? Yes, I believe that I'm a known personality in India and um, with, uh, you know, huge fame comes responsibility. And I understand that the influence I have on people is very important and it should be directed in a good way. So I have this responsibility and I have that in mind. And since I was a kid, I try to motivate people to work out, to uh, become the best versions of themselves by um, teaching others and um, helping people who are in need like um, poverty is spreading so much so that's my main advocacy anyways because I feel that poverty is just so terrible so it's important to just uh, have a goal in mind and um, just have an advocacy in life and a purpose okay so how did you prepare for this uh, Mr. International 2023 pageant I prepared for Mr. International 2023 by um, obviously working out in the gym mm -hmm. um, and you know working on my mental health and um, understanding people's points of view and uh, most of all working on my confidence because I was dancing like crazy because that's what gives me confidence to be honest because everyone has that little public fear inside them but when I dance on stage it just goes away so confidence was key for me that's all the right. number one thing 
All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, I have some questions uh, in the card, and you may pick one and answer it honestly. Okay. Pick one. Yep. Okay, and I'll read it for to you. For sure. What do you want to do in your old age? One thing that I will want to do in my old age is have a beautiful family because that's something that I feel only the fortunate get. And true love is something that is so beautiful and beyond every, every emotion because I want to experience true love. I want to hold my 80-year-old wife uh, with her hands and just tell her that we made it because that's one thing um, I'm just looking forward to. All right. Uh, wait, answer. Thank you so much. Another one. For sure. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Let's have it. Uh, OMG. Define divorce. Divorce is when people separate and obviously separate, but there's miscommunication. A lot of people have this idea that divorce is a bad thing, but I feel that if you're divorcing and your reason is valid, it's better to just separate because it might hurt in the short term. But in the long term, it's better for both of you. And I just feel that a person has their own right. And if they're happy getting divorced or staying together, it's absolutely their choice. So if I had to define divorce, uh, I would say uh, uh, separating by consent because um, it's just a good thing. And I, it's, I feel that people should not view it as a bad thing. It's a very, very uh, a good reason uh, to divorce. Some people have a very good reason to divorce and they should absolutely do it if they feel that way. All right. Thank you so much. Another one. Okay, let's have this. What important event in the history of your country have you participated in? Well, I actually volunteer a lot in my country. Um, I clean a lot of, uh, you know, plastic bottles and um, I clean Lake Ontario. Um, I also help kids who are disabled because that's who I am as a person. I love to help people and I help the homeless whenever I have the chance. That's something that I have been doing even when I was back in India. So yeah, I just volunteer and that's how I communicate and um, contribute to my country. Thank you so much. Pick another one. Okay, let's have this. What do you daydream mostly about? Right now, I'm daydreaming about um, inspiring people, to be honest, because um, I just feel that I have that drive inside me. And I've been told this many times that I inspire people. I get DMs almost every day that I ins I'm inspiring someone. And the feeling of them telling me that you're my, um, you're my idol or uh, I want to have a body like you, it just feels so good deep down in my heart because I think that I'm guiding the youth in a very good way and a positive manner. And especially being so young, I feel that people can relate to me, the kids my age, the teen teens my age. So letting them down on the right path is duty to me. So nice. that's how I do it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's have Thank you. pick another one Ooh. for your last question. Let's have this. What is the most important possession in your house and why? The most important possession in my house is our family being together. I feel that a family that I have is very fortunate because everyone supports me so much since I was a kid. And there is no bigger possession than having a family that's so joined together that it's unbreakable. My family has supported me since I was a kid. They have been pushing me into acting. They have been helping me um, being confident. My mom always praises me um, that you're so good looking. And the confidence I get from that, no matter any, if anyone else says that, I might smile. But when my mom says that, I just start jumping around because I'm a mama's boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, that's how I think that's the most important possession anyone can have is family. All right. Thank you so much. And... Uh do you have any message to your fans and supporters? I do actually have a message for my fans. Um, guys, no matter whatever anyone says, just follow your dream and you will achieve ultimate levels of height that no one else imagines. I was let down by many. I was a bullied child too. But I did not let that 
harm me or you know destroy my mental health i'm here today and so can you be so achieve your goals stay with your family love everyone treat everyone with respect care for everyone and at the end of the day be happy because that's very important thank you and of course promote your social media account my instagram is dhruvkumar004 you can search me up there you uh, there's a link uh, for my facebook too over there and um malkita philippines thank you so much and best of luck on your journey here at mr international 2023 enjoy staying here in the philippines yeah loving it here bye bye bye